Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, here to Anderson Field as a brand new high school soccer team here as they're getting ready to take on Morgan Christian Rangers. Um, I'm John Smacker, I ain't going solo tonight, but uh, boy, we're going to have a good game here for you as the Boston's are coming in with a great new record. We're trying to get their first um, conference win here against the Good evening, soccer fans! Welcome to Anderson Field at Bobcat Stadium. The Board of Education, the Superintendent, and the Principal of Grandview High School extended to each of you a cordial welcome. We're pleased that you're here for tonight's match. Grandview High School, Worthington Christian High School are members of the Ohio High School and abide by high standards of conduct, competition, and relations with member schools. The athletes in this game are friendly rivals, while play may be fierce, all in attendance are reminded that this is a game between young athletes and sporting behavior is expected. Please cheer for your team, not against anyone. You can't have a match without the official. The official signs of the match tonight have been selected and assigned according to procedures adopted by Ohio High School and its state league. On the sidelines tonight will be official Randy Babb and Dick Ricketts. In the middle will be J.M. O'Connor. He'll be in the center. I know it's kind of warm. The concession stand is open. Grab some to eat drink before we start the match. And we'll get the lineups going here in a second.
Jorski. Number 11, Olivia Girardi. Number 14, Tia Thomas. Number 15, Maddie Arndt. Number 17, Whitney Schaefer. Number 18, Anna Doby. Number 19, Adele Bechtel. 20 is Maddie James. In goal, Ruby Gentile. Lady Bobcats are coached by Michael Myrna, Terry Eisel, Brianna Dominuk, Rachel Smith, and Andy Haydam. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Remove your covers. Help us honor America by celebrating those that have fought the many freedoms that we have by singing our Star Spangled Banner.
probably a word over there. Side over to Whitney Schaefer. Whitney Schaefer kicked me all the way down and just really good. The pass is going on by the podcast. A lot of good you know, moving around, especially in courts. Yeah, probably Side over to the right. That's Jordy places the ball. Gives over to Manny on back to Jordy. Looks like she might save the game. We're also going to call it out. by Pierce, the Bobcats in here. This is Olivia Girardi. He's now down towards the middle. Over to Tia. It's taken away. Picked out by Howie Dorowski. Now drawing towards me. Find Manny James. Kind of a one-on-one -on -one matchup right here. Maybe we'll win the battle as here comes Olivia Girardi now. The corner around the 10. Gets past one defender. Now takes a shot. Almost gets it. Very hard shot right there by Olivia Girardi. He just bounces out and caught back by the goalkeeper. Get it, get it, get it. Just a little bit past Olivia Jordan. 
Like, and then the personality. I know that it's you. Like, Both teams have, it seems like this floor's ball control has been pretty even thus far. Percent wise. Okay. Tia Thomas ends up with it. Okay. Back the middle. Again, they're trying to work things down there. There's nothing going for the Bobcats right now. Looks like they're trying to work more towards that middle right side of the field. The toss now goes from the middle over to the right side. Bobcats will get it here. For the Bobcats, they send in number nine, Carly Orr. So the draw will get subbed out right here as Carly Orr will come in for the time being. Stobies will kick it up ahead of her. Ball hits on each one of the WC players and goes out of bounds. One or less. Going up the field. Going up and left. End up with Gordon and Christian. Bobcats now will be a little bit more of control here offensively. Being more, it seems like it's been a physical battle thus far. Bobcats are just taking full control and just powering their way through. A few substitutions in the hall and Lindsay Virginia are both going to be coming in here now. Burlington Christian sends in number 24, Gabby Kane. The Bobcats send in the number 5, Lindsay Gritani, and number 8, Emma Hall. What's going on? Four down the field. Still saves, though. Oh, noise with the nug. They can all that noise and can barely hear that.
stop by the Grady defense, too. Good job, defense on the other Bobcats. Yeah, very good footwork. It's a lot of room to run. Still going. All this communication on it, but no man's box is still sticking with it. Let's see what's going on. 
Okay. A few substitutions now. For the Warriors, they send in number 16, Emma Cason. And the Bobcats send in number 11, Olivia Girardi. Number 15 is Matty Arndt. And 17, a Whitney Schaefer. will be coming in for the Bobcats. <laughs> Very quick and taking control offensively, but lately it's been WC who's been kind of draining Grandview. Um, just physically and speed. Almost, almost playing as if you know, they're, it's not going all the way on. They want to see Bobby just kind of play it back. Nick's a motivator right now. Bobcat threw out the ball, this is Lindsay Bertani, goes over to the left side, looking for Olivia Jordy, can't get anything going. Ball now be poked away, and ooh, he's going to shove to the ground. Oh, wow! Oh, nice! Oh, nice! Oh, nice! Oh, nice! Oh, nice! Oh, nice! Push the ground, there's no call, and now there's a collision over on the right side. Take a break, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll come back here with me. Back here to Anderson Field. You know, always remember that Grand Fitness Broadcast is sponsored by Grand Fitness. Over at 840 Grand Avenue in Monroe, Ohio, best 24 hour fitness center. So it's actually Lady Schaefer who's down there. Uh, the field out there walk it out. So always good to see. Thank <laughs> you. 
know about that, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be persistent! So zero zero with 19 and a half minutes to go. Bobcat's about to get the free kick. Welcome. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back here to Anderson Field. We apologize for the technical difficulties. Um, score is still 0 0 with 15 minutes to go. As things are starting to look pretty good. Andomi's with the throw in now. Looking over for Carly Ori. Carly Ori had a nice little spin move during the break. Um, I, I was saying on. Commentary is a little bit of shades of her older brother Caleb, who is known for doing that type of stuff. The ball will go out of bounds and will go over to WC. Now, Bobcats, here we go. Bobcats now with a chance to score. It's now put in the middle, place you don't want it. Nice block right there, unintentionally, by Tia Thomas. As it goes from one person to another, finally ends up with Whitney Schaefer and just goes out of bounds, unable to stop it. It's going to be a pretty even amount of shots from both teams. We have some more substitutions coming in for the Bobcats. Lindsey Bertani, Olive Girardi, and Maddie James also will be coming in for the Bobcats. As during the break, Maddie James, she got a rest and was talking to Mike Myrna about saying something about pushing the field. So um, we'll see if things can go better this time. She's been hustling quite a bit here tonight. And now Maddie will get a free kick right here around the 15. Never mind, that's like. I'll see who they decide to go with. They're going to go with Hallie Jaworski. Hallie Jaworski had a goal of her own in that game against Circleville that they won 4-0. So far here, high one and good save by Ellie Bowers to punch it over the top of the net. And it just seemed like it was just a little too short, but a very, very good shot right there by Hallie Jaworski. A very deep shot. And that was a very, yeah, good job by both ends right there. 
Kia Thomas will put it now towards the middle. This is almost putting that in was Olivia Jordy for left foot. I was just got unlucky. Bobcats are doing a good job right here, putting a lot of pressure offensively. Um, I think that's something that Mike Myrna wants. They're going over towards his left side. They'll hit Olivia Jordy. The ball will be bouncing around here a few times. SWC will now have control. Nice place ball right there for Warriors. Let's see what they do. And that's a high shot right there by Worthington Christian. That was number 22, Elena Rakes. Just under 12 minutes ago in this first half. Score still tied 0-0. It's been a pretty even battle on between both teams here. Remember, this game is sponsored by Grandview Pro Fitness. Um, you can go see them over at 840 Grandview Avenue. And it's Ohio's best 24-hour fitness center. So the, Bob the Bobcats are now doing... We're now trying to get back defensively and finally with the stop is Grandview. So we'll start moving the ball around. Going now towards the middle, looking for Manny James, blocks it. Olivia Jordy now has a chance on the right side. Just gets her shot blocked right there by WC. Again, Maddie in the wrong place at the wrong time gets a hit, but very physical player. If you recall watching her during the basketball season. That was a nice kick, nice center. It's gonna go over to number 16, Emma Kasich. Emma will now try to kick towards the middle, nothing going. That's Olivia Girardi on the right side. Beats one defender. She's got Maddie James up ahead of her. She needs to, and she does make the pass. Bobcats have a three on two advantage. Now just getting back is WC to make it three on three. And Louis Jordy still with the ball. Now kick it towards the middle. This is Maddie James. Kick it behind her. And off the post. And Olivia Girardi will put it in. I'm below. Looks like they're gonna looks like they may call her off sides though. I'm not sure about that. It looked like she was on sides and got that put in. So they're gonna call it offside, so actually no goal will count. So it still remains 0-0 zero with zero nine and a half to go. Good effort though by Olivia Girardi to watch where the ball was going and put it in. Um, I believe that might have been Lizzie Bertani who had the shot and it deflected off the post. And Olivia was just right there to put it in, but nonetheless, Warriors catch a break. Now with nine minutes left here, got a little bit of discussion now between, looks like that's Maddie James and Kane Grace. Grace Kane, excuse me. Not sure what the conversation was about right there. Maybe a little bit of physicality. Nonetheless, we finally resume play. Ball's up in the air. Warriors will re end up winning the battle. Bobcats are going to try to get things moving offensively again. And again, Whitney Schaefer with another. She's been taking a quite a few shots here today. Been going hard to the ground. Seems like her. She's been taking falls. And Maddie James just been unlucky getting the ball shot at her. But nonetheless, her got to give them credit. Both very tough and hanging in there no, despite what's been happening. 
a few substitutions. As Carly Orr, I believe, will be coming back in. As we have an update now, the boys team who's actually playing WC is up 1-0 We just in that game. Is that is that game just started around the same time, so it should still be in the first half with the Bobcats leading 1-0 at WC. So right here is it's been a lot of battles between both sides. We're starting to see a lot both these teams get a lot more physical and just going at it. Warriors want to space things out here with the ball. Finally be booted away. And Taylor Pierce still with it. Beating out two people, still has a chance to center it and just kicked over was Whitney Schaefer. Had a pretty good look, just a little bit too high. Seems like WC, or excuse me, Grandview's been winning the battle lately offensively. They've been getting a lot more shots in. Uh, there, was a there, there was a point there with about 15 minutes ago that WC looked like they were taking control on the offensive end, but most of mostly it's been down on uh, Warden Christian's defensive side. you got to give Bobcats credit. It's been those passes that have really been helping um, on the offensive end. Lindsay with a nice block right there. The ball will now be kicked out. Bobcats will get the throw in. Now, Matty Yarn with a nice little spin move around. <laughs> this is Taylor, P or excuse me, Carly Orr now rushing now towards the middle, almost with the put in. Again, was the Bobcats. I think that might have been Taylor Pierce who almost got the put in. Just unlucky. Bobcats are doing a very good job now offensively, um, taking advantage of a very tired offense or defense and offense of Warden Christian. Just seems like. Grandview's a lot more physical. Been doing a very good job also just spreading out. And uh, now down on the defensive end. That was a nice pass, a nice little spin move to get around. Grandview needs to get that ball out. That was number 20, Ellie Myers. Bobcats will, or excuse me, WC. Still get the ball as Ellie Myers will throw it in. Ellie Myers, the one that's been going back and forth with Maddie James, it seems like quite a bit. Been the 220s going up against each other. Bobcats, here they go on the offense. WC will just kick it out. They'll get back on their offensive end. Grandview, this is a very quick and offensive team, as you recall. Um, of the Bobcats, 24 goals have been scored this year. Um, 19 of them have all come in the first half. So this is a team that loves to score early on and you know, put things away, but WC's been doing a good job, especially on the defensive end, making sure Grandview puts in no goals. You gotta believe they, WC came in here thinking, having that mentality that they Bobcats like to score early as Tia Thomas checks in. And they've been doing a good job making sure nothing happens. Um, you know, first half usually favors the Bobcats, but the Warriors are holding their own. Will be up in the air. 
Now we'll eventually over Lane and WC side. Now three and a half minutes ago, score is zero zero. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, remember this broadcast is sponsored by Grandview Pro Fitness. Um over at 840 Grandview Avenue, and it's Ohio's best 24-hour fitness center. As now we have WC, as that's Myers. Kick it towards the middle. Probably stolen away from the Bobcats. Tia Thomas kicking it around will end up in Maddie James' hand, and Maddie James will just boot out and try to just get it out away from their goal. Say this their side of the field. That's Carly Orr still sticking with it. A little bit back and forth between Matty Arndt. One and Jennifer Davis. Nonetheless, it will be knocked out by the Bobcats. Warriors will get the ball here. Oh, hit the ref. Mayard now with the Bobcats. She can get over right. Oh, I was going to say if she could get over to her left side, Bobcats would have the numbers game. But that was a nice block by WC. That was number 11, um, Mayanna Hardings. That's Myers now again. You now goes to her left side looking. Just overshoots um, all the other Myers, Myers Friley Myers. Just heard just under two minutes ago here in the first half. Seems like Grandview's just been a little bit more advantage on the offensive end, but what WC lately, they're the ones that's been in control here. Number 16 for the Warriors, Emma Grandview's had a lot of chances here. Most notably the shot that was scored by Olivia Jordy, they got called back. Um, minute to go. Let's see if the Bobcats can get things going here. Just try to get one before the half. Ball will go out of bounds. I'll throw it in deep over to Carly Orr. The ball will stay out of bounds. And Myers will get the throw in. Now just under a minute to go in the first half. Been a pretty physical battle also. Have seen the ref stop a few times with if I recall, it was Maddie, and then one of the other players might have been Riley Myers. The ball will end up in WC as they have it around the 40, and I'll kick it deep. Now, they have a shot over now towards the 10, over at the around the 10-yard line. We'll fire a left footer. Nice shot, but blocked out. I believe it was Anna Dobies at the stop. And just one more deep kick. With 10 seconds ago here in the first half. Score is 0 0. As you can hear the PA announcer announce that that is the end of the first half, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Overall takeaway from the first half, the Bobcats doing a good job offensively, good job spraying the ball. Got just a little unlucky with that offside, which is still kind of a controversial call. We could debate uh, back and forth all day, but nonetheless, Bobcats have been doing a good job. Um, it seems like they've been winning the battle. And uh, on the other end, WC are trying to get things going, still trying to figure things out on their offensive end. But nonetheless, score is 0-0 zero zero at the half. We'll be back for in about nine, eight minutes to start the second half. Stick with us, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching us here on YouTube.
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back here to Anderson Field. Graham Heights Bobcats are taking on Warden and Christian. The score 0 0 is just seconds away to start off the second half after a very physical first half at Grandview, I think, in my opinion, uh, won in the end. Um, but nonetheless, there was a few chances for Bobcats there in that first half to get a goal. Just were just got unlucky. The score still remains 0 0. We're underway at the second half. See what type of adjustments Bobcats can make. If you recall, during the middle of the first half, Mike Verna was over there well, seeming to want to push the field up a little bit more. Let's see if the Bobcats can do just that. As WC will take possession of the ball here right now. It'll go out of bounds, and the Bobcats not the throw in. I believe that's Anna Dobies with the throw. Go back down. She'll try it again. And then it gets pushed up again, so she'll have another. And she'll get the ball after getting off the foot of one of the WC players. Granville will get it. As here comes WC now. Offensively trying to push the field. They got one people in the one or one player, excuse me, on the back end. Bobcats will just kick it out of bounds. Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, that this broadcast is sponsored by Grandview Pro Fitness. Um, you can go see them over at 840 Grandview Avenue and it's Ohio's best 24 hour fitness center. Updates for other scores. The boys' soccer team leads it 1 0. And the ball's up for grabs. It just goes off the hand right there of Gentile. And WC will keep it. And again now, Team WC now being the ones in full control offensively here to start off the second half. But like I was saying, boys team leads it one nothing at the half. Over at Worthington Christian, this gr same girls team will be here. One thirty on Saturday will be a home game. And the boys football team will be playing over at Afrocentric, 7 o'clock. Ben and I will be there for th that game. We'll go on about 15, 10 minutes early to just talk. The ball will go out of bounds, and Bobcats will get the kick. They'll lose the ball. That's Matty Arndt. Matty Arndt now in a battle right now. Finally come down over to this end. This is Whitney Schaefer now on this, on the close end. Now giving near, near towards the middle to Matty James. Who will lose it. Again, here come the Warriors. They'll just slow things down and they'll let Gentile punt it off. So now Warden Christian will be in control again over around the 30 yard line offensively. As until Olivia Girardi just kicks it out of bounds. Or excuse me, Taylor Pierce. Nice cross towards the middle. That was a nice read right there by, I believe that was Whitney Schaefer that got it out. She's still sticking with it. She'll take it all the way towards the 30 where the ball will go out of bounds and WC will get the throw in. Tia Thomas will now go over to the left side of her, over to Maddie James. She's got some time. Waiting for some of her teammates to get near towards the middle. Gets past one defender and will go off the WC defensive player. So, Bobcats now with a golden opportunity here with the corner kick. So 
be inter interesting to see who takes it. It might be Tia Thomas over here. Nice, and she just goes for a nice little kick right there. But to Whitney Schaefer, the ball goes in. It was in the goal, but headed out. Trying to get her on read who that was, but that was a good job by WC to head that out. And well, it looked like it was in the goal there for a quick sec, but nonetheless, it's going to be out of bounds. Looks like we have an looks like we have an injured warrior player right here. So we're going to take a quick break, ladies and gentlemen. Score 0-0 zero zero with 34.50 to go in the second half. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back here to Anderson Field. Uh, there's Kate Tamalo just coming off the field, a junior of junior defensive player from WC. They sent a substitution in. I believe it might have been Madeline Jones coming in for the Warriors, but nonetheless, Bobcats. Ball just kicked it straight up in the air. Ball will now be placed. This is Olivia Girardi looking for Matt James. Nothing going. It's still on the ground. I'll just be booted straight up in the air. There's a battle underneath. Olivia Girardi will get the throw in here. The Bobcats can work back on those nice passes, especially now towards the offensive end underneath the Warden and Christian goal. This ball will now be kicked around. This is Whitney Schaefer when I'll go over to. Oh, what a nice, sh what a deep shot right there by Tia Thomas. Almost got that in, but got punched out. WC is just going to get it out. And they'll end up in the Ellie Bauer's hands, and she'll just punt it away. But again, nice. What a shot right there by Tia Thomas looking on the right side of the goal, and Ellie Bowers had to <laughs> dive to make that save. Ball now just be kicked around here. And Kirsten boots it on. Just gets it out. Nice little pass over there. Again, nothing quite going offensively for the Bobcats yet. And Maddie Arndt will now shift over to the right side. This ball now be kicked towards the middle. Now back around the 35 will be WC to place it. I'll uh, be stolen away right there by Olivia Girardi, or excuse me, Whitney Schaefer. Matty James now has the ball in control on the 15. Gets past, makes a nice stop move, gets around one defender, gets around two others. Nice footwork and finally gets stopped, getting past four defenders right there. Finally gets trapped. Nonetheless, good footwork by Matty James. The ball will now be placed. Good job, centered. It's now Olivia Girardi. She'll kick it towards the middle, just can't quite get it to go in. 
It's a good hit to go past the back of the net. And the Warriors will once again go for another goal kick. Score still 0 0 with 31, about 31 and a half minutes to go here in the second half. Gonna be a foul called against Warden Christian. Granby will now get it. Matia Thomas and I'll kick it sh towards the middle. So I'll be kicked out by WC on the defensive end. Well, WC here with the ball now kicks it out towards the right end of the Bobcat side. That's uh, so going to be Kirsten Lauer who's just going to let the ball go out of bounds. We're going to have some substitutions here. So we have Emma Hall, Lindsay Bertani, and Carly Orr will all be coming in. Now 30 minutes to go. Score still ties here. Now this is Warren and Christian in control. We'll find a go for a deep shot. We'll just hit the back. Go pa right past the goal. I think that was number 17 right there. That was Grace Todd with a deep shot. Look, this is a pretty pretty older Warden Christian team with seven seniors on their team um, compared to Grandview's three and a lot of younger players. As Grandview has been doing a good job nonetheless despite the age difference. Ball be moved around here a little bit. This is WC now on the attack. So kick it down. Now this is Grace Todd, who just had that big shot. Gets it blocked right there. And I'll try again now towards the middle. And that gets stopped and now eventually kicked out right there by Anna Dobies. Good job by the Bobcats. Again, it'll be kicked around. This is Maddie James now on the offensive attack. This ball's going to be moved around. This is finally... I believe that's Tia Thomas now with the stop as Emma Hall now has it. So kicking out shit towards the middle. Nothing going. My James gets past one defender. See if she can do it again. See if she can break four. Goes for a kick towards the middle for it looks like she was looking for a pass for Lindsay Bertanian that gets stolen away by WC. Here come the Warriors. 28 minutes to go here in the first, or second half, excuse me. Score still being 0-0. Zero, zero. We've seen a bit more substitutions the later this game goes. It's kind of a coach's mentality is trying every different strategy to see what will work for you to win a game. Try and get the better of the matchups. WC will get the throw in here over at the far end this will now be centered towards the middle and that'll be stopped and blocked the ball's on the ground that'll be picked up by Gentile so that pass was blocked by Emma Hall down there good job to stop it and let the goalie let uh, Gentile pick it up
There's going to be, a, looks like a penalty now, or foul, excuse me, going up against Grandview. I think that might have gone up against Emma Hall. But WC will get the free kick. So we have 26 minutes to go here. Ball's up, and they'll be picked up by Gentile again. Oh, we're we'll throwing it over to Tia Thomas. Excuse me, that's Carly Orr, actually, I believe. I'll look for some help. Finally, Tia does helps her out. And now Bobcats have a chance. They're going to spread the field out here a little bit on the offensive end. Oh, they're looking for Maddie James now towards the middle. They've been trying to go for her quite a few times. WC's had an answer almost every time. Emma Hall now. Trying to get something going. Finally just be booted off by Anna Dobies. The ball will be moved around. This is and that was a deep shot right there. Few substitutions come in. As that was Lindsay, I believe that was Lindsay Britannia who had the shot and just missed it. But what a deep shot that was, and almost looked accurate to go in. Just couldn't quite get that in. And <laughs> looks like Whitney Schaefer might have gotten her jersey grab right there, but nonetheless, they're not going to call anything. Still be a Grandview throw in. Now 24 and a half to go. And again, Bobcats are advancing the ball up the field by kickouts by WC. That'll be a throw in right there by Tia Thomas. Or yeah, yep, that will be out of bounds against Grandview. I believe Maddie James excellently kicked that out. And WC will get the ball now just under 24 minutes ago. Scores tied 0 0. Um, we'd like to remind everyone again that this game is sponsored by Grandview Pro Fitness. Um, you can go visit them over there at 840 Grandview Avenue. And always remember that it's Ohio's best 24 hour fitness center. Maybe trying to get things going offensively. Ha been a little bit different uh, halves thus far from the first to second. It's been a lot more defensive for Bobcats this second half. Might be part of the strategy. It also could be a little bit fatigued from them. As like I said, they 19 of their 24 goals this season have been in that first half. And then the second half, it seems like they might get a little bit gassed, but they're still hanging in there, and they're still advancing the ball pretty well. Maddie James now with a chance to score. Can't quite get it, but this is and a double block right there. That was Maddie James. I believe the other end one was Olivia Girardi. And <laughs> two chances right there, and good job by Ellie Bowers to hang in there and get the double block. Ellie Bowers, a senior, kind of the captain of this team, if you recall, she, me and Scott, broadcasted the girls basketball games this past winter. She was actually one of their star players in that game when they came here to Grandview. And again, another one on the field, on the ground that picked up by uh, Bowers again. That was Bertani that time trying to get one in. So Grandview has been attacking offensively a little bit more here now. Been having some really good shots too. There's that one deep by Lindsay Bertani, and then now that one by Maddie James, and then a block, another block for against Olivia Girardi. <laughs> but they're having good looks at it, I tell you what. Let's 
Bobcats now gonna try to spread the offense. As now for corner, going towards the corner, that's Whitney Schaefer, kicks it towards the middle. The ball is on the ground. Can he get the put in? And that is put in by the Bobcats. I believe that was Carly Orr with the put in just from the back door. Like I was saying before, shades of her brother Caleb Orr got the nice left foot put in and the Bobcats will take the lead 1-0 with 21 and a half minutes to go. A good heads up play by Carly Orr there to watch where the ball was going and just go with a nice left footer and get it in. See if that motivates WC a little bit more here as we're already seeing WC now coming back quickly. Now they'll have a shot of their own, but it'll just be over the net. And just a <laughs> it was a perfect place. Also gotta give the assist to Whitney Schaefer there. She placed it perfectly and was able to, was that last person on the right end, which was Carly Orr to get that left foot put in. As Taylor Pierce and Tia Thomas are coming in now for Olivia Girardi and Lindsey Bertani. As the Cats now have the ball around the 50, they're going to try to do it again here. This is Maddie James now. She's going to try to get one to go in. She gets past one defender. Try and keep with it. The ball will be centered. A little bit back towards the middle. Good look by Whitney Schaefer, just unlucky with the kick. Might be kicked around, a nice header stop. Right there by Anna Dobies. Here comes Tia Thomas again. Now she'll spread it out to her right side of the field. She call her chasing again. Again, score is 1-0. Now with about 19.40 to go in the second half. And they're looking for the hold right there against Whitney Schaefer. I've seen quite a few actually go up against her. They haven't really called any, surprisingly. Ball's placed towards the middle. Now they'll be kicked out. Bobcats will get the throw in here. That was again Schaefer now going towards the middle. Over to Maddie James. Back to Schaefer. Schaefer now kick it towards the middle. Just missed. As Kelly Orr was trying to do it again, just couldn't quite get there that time. But nonetheless, oh, it looks like they're gonna give the throw in actually WC. It looked like it went off of Wayne and Christian, but they're gonna give them the ball anyways. WC will throw in right here. Look, about 18 and a half minutes ago, ladies and gentlemen. Just a reminder again. Oh, kick down towards the middle. Now, a chance to get a put in. And almost right there it was Granby picked up by Bowers. Kinda believe that was Maddie Arnold who almost got the put in actually. Coming from midfield. Again, ladies and gentlemen. This broadcast is sponsored by Grandview Pro Fitness. Get Check them over at 840 Grandview Avenue. It's Ohio's best 24-hour fitness center. Now just under 18 to go. Bobcats lead at 1-0 after a goal scored by Carly Orr at around the 21st minute mark. After a left footer in the back, <laughs> in the back door. And now here we go again. 
but can certainly look like the same right here with Olivia Jordy now down at the end. She'll now kick one towards the middle. And I'll just pop right out. But Maddie Arndt will still save it. And finally, WC wins the battle, and they'll just get it out. Grammy off. Ever since that goal, though, Bobcats had really been on the attack as of late. See what the Cats do here, though. Here come the Warriors on the offensive end. Start moving things around. I mean, a shot right there, left footer right by WC. That was Elena Rakes. I'm starting to see WC a lot more attack. Starting to get things going offensively here, especially being down one nothing. Seems like they're pulling on defensively until that goal was scored by Carly Orr. Kind of started turning the battle of Grandview, just trying to get one in as they were oh so close. They finally did, and now. WC, they have no choice but to go on attack mode. Um, but Granby Heights have been doing a good job making sure nothing has gone in for the Warriors. And again, another great pass. Bobcats doing a good job passing here tonight. Olivia Girardi, good hustle, still sticking with it. The ball will go out of bounds. And we'll go over to the Bobcats. Olivia Girardi... We'll get subbed out here. Looks like she's holding the back of her left hamstring. Hopefully she's okay. Now the Bobcats with the ball. It's a deep shot from around the 20 yard line. That's Lindsay Bertani again. She's had Quite a day, a lot of good opportunities. Just been unlucky. Now at the 15 minute mark, Bobcats lead at one nothing. That's a nice deep kick, almost went in. That one was by around the 30 yard line by number 22. Again, that was Rakes. She's had some good looks. As of late, Bobcats need to try to tighten up on her and make sure she doesn't get loose for one. Cats are going to try to spread the field here now. So I'll just get kicked out of bounds. Looks like they're going for Miana right there, number 11 of WC. Deep throwing. Uh, we'll end up with the Bobcats. That was a good look right there. By Tia going over to the right side, just couldn't quite get there. Cats need to try to keep spraying the field. And here they come. This is Tia Thomas now with the ball. Going over to her right side over to Carly Orr. She's taking it now. All the way down. Looks like she's going to try to center it. And that will be kicked out of bounds. And the Bobcats will get a corner kick. Nice job again by Carly Orr to get there. Just oh so speedy. Now let's see if Carly can actually help Bobcats get one, another one in here. It's going to be a deep shot, and that goes in. What a deep shot around the 20-yard line. As you heard right there, that's Howie Jaworski with the goal, the Granby Heights. Football kicker contributing for the Cats and making sure 
They take a commanding 2-0 lead at this point. Obviously, 2-0 lead is the most dangerous lead to have in any sporting event, but nonetheless, Cats do lead at 2-0 with 13 minutes to go in the second half. That was a deep kick from Jaworski. Shades of her, <laughs> shades of Jaworski's experience on the football field. Cats lead at 2-0 now with 13 minutes to go. And how much more do you if you're WC, do you have left in the tank here to get something going offensively? Grammy Heights has just really been attacking them offensively and defensively. <coughs> really starting to take control at this point in the game. As Bobcats seems like they've had it, they've been winning the field possession battle almost 70 30. It's been mainly Cats. WC's had quite a few chances, but nonetheless, Bobcats have been doing a good job. That's Lindsay Bertain now goes over to her right side. That's Carly Orr. She'll now try to spread the field and here come the Cats. Nothing going right there, it was a block by WC. That's Carly Orr again. The ball will go out of bounds this time. Carly Orr will get a throw in. Again, ladies and gentlemen, Cats lead at 2 nothing with 12 minutes to go. And all began after that first goal by Carly Orr at the 21-minute mark with that left footer. And then at the 13-minute, a deep kick by Howie Jaworski to almost put this thing away, knock it on wood here. But you would think give Bobcats a 2 nothing lead, especially the way they've been playing, really just spraying the ball, good pa great passes um, all throughout. Now here comes WC. The Warriors, if they want any chance, they gotta put one in here soon. That was a nice block right there by Gentile. Also gotta get credit on the other end to Ellie Bowers, who's been doing a good job. Gold Tain nonetheless, despite giving up the two goals, she's had her work cut out for her tonight. She's still been doing a really good job. You just got word that the Grandview boys are still up 1-0 in that game against WC. It was there late in the second half, but that down there. Bobcats, they got to get that out. And that they do. I'm not quite sure who kicked that out, but nonetheless, good heads up play. Here's Miana now going up against Whitney Schaefer. She'll center it towards the middle. Now with a chance to score, and WC does get a goal in right there. They'll now make it two to one. That was number 17, Grace Todd, with the put in. Nice center towards the middle by Miana, and just able to get it in. Like I was saying about that dangerous score. Two nothing. It's always the most dangerous score, nonetheless. Bobcats still with the 2-1 lead. They can't lose momentum here, though. They've been doing a good job this entire game, offensively and defensively. Um, we'll see if how both teams react to this goal. But that was a nice little just chipping. Easy put in for number 17. And now here they come again. And if you're Granby, you gotta think about maybe trying to take this ball to the corner and try to melt some clock. It's only 10 minutes now to go. We're at the 10 minute mark, so. This, this broadcast is sponsored by Grandview Pro Fitness. You can go see them over at 840 Grandview Avenue. And always remember folks, you know the rest. It's Ohio's best 24 hour fitness center. I've been there. I've been there a few times here and there. Mainly LA Fitness. LA Fitness is my go-to place. Helped me out today with my classes. But nonetheless, totally different story. Um, Cat Silly at 2-1, nine and a half to go. Let's go to LA Fitness. 
WC will now move the ball. By the way, I don't do not condone to go to LA Fitness. There's, that's my go-to place, though. <laughs> but nonetheless. Bobcats spraying the ball around. All right, stolen, taken away, WC. Now just under nine minutes to go. WC, they got to get going here if they want to chance to at least tie this game. Bobcats on the other end needs one more goal to probably put this game to rest. Oh, they're not going to call anything. The ball's still up for grabs. Center towards the middle. Now come back over to Maddie James around the 15. See what she does with it. Now looks like she's going to kick it behind. No, no, just kicked out by Miana. Now this is Tia Thomas, I believe, who's going to get the throw in. Ball kicked out of bounds, and the Bobcats will get the throw in. Winnie Schaefer, who just checked in, will throw it in. Now, under eight minutes to go. Cats lead it 2-1. Ball's up in the air. Kelly Horror's trying to do it again. This time, Ellie Bowers will pick it right up. And here comes the Warriors. Moving it in as the boys team leads it one nothing with 16 minutes to go in the second half. See if they can hold on there. Bobcats need to be on their toes. See if they can work the left side of their field. That's when it's been very favorable. Kicked up in the air. It's finally kicked away. Might have been Layla Slaughter right there who kicked it out. I think it was. Cats spraying the field, going for Maddie James again. Nothing doing. This both teams obviously been playing very physical and quick, and nothing. A little miscommunication right there for Schaefer, and I believe that's Maddie Arndt. Now here comes WC with six minutes to go in the second half. And that gets passed, now this is Miana. Over at the five, let's see what she can do. She'll now get the ball around. <laughs> the fans, Grady fans are looking for a shove right there, but nothing called. And now it's number, that's number 22. Let's see who that is. That's Elena Rakes right there, who's down on the ground. Hopefully she's going to be good to get up. We'll take a quick break, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back with the final five and a half minutes. Bobcats lead at 2-1. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to Anderson Field. 
we have five and a half minutes to go in the second half. Cats lead at 2-1. See if they can hold on. Just go play defense for the last five minutes to hold themselves and get a nice solid win. As that they got their first goal scored against them here tonight, which was against WC. As they've never been in this situation yet this season in a, such just such a tight, close game. WC will just kick it deep, trying to hopefully someone's down there. And I'll just go over to the Cats. Substitutions, we have Carly Orr coming in and Maddie James. 4.45 now to go, Cats lead at 2-1. Boys team are up one nothing with 12 minutes ago in that game. And the gr meanwhile, the girls over here are up 2-1 with about four minutes to go. Be nice to get a nice clean sweep against the Warriors. The ball's out on the ground, finally picked up by Gentile. About time to see these cats maybe put one more in to put this thing away. are obviously the ones on the offensive end right now. This is Matty Arndt, who eventually gets it over to Tia Thomas. Tia will now look over to Matty James over around the close end of the 50. Excuse me, that's Pierce. Cats moving the ball up the field. Number 15, Matty Arndt. Trying to get around, nothing doing. Three minutes ago, Cats lead it 2-1. Just about holding on at this point if you're Grandview. Almost. Wouldn't be surprised to see the whole, almost the whole team get back on the defensive end and just, just kick the ball out and deep. We're now going over to Pierce. Kyora was quick enough to get back to the corner, but just nothing going. Cat's going to see. Looks like they're just going to try to melt some clock at this point. Then they'll go out of bounds. Two and a half minutes now to go. Bobcats lead at 2-1. Now two minutes ago, Cats lead 2-1. This is their spring. This is this point. They're just trying to melt the clock. This is Matty James now taken out towards the corner. Smart play right by Matty James. Two minutes. Two minutes left in the match. That'll be a white throw in. And Matty Arndt now give it back over to. <laughs> it's back, back forth passes between the Matties right now. To finally get out of bounds. IWC. Granby will get it with a minute 40 to go. They're, looks like they're just going to try to do the same thing here. Oh, interesting call. They're going to call almost a block against Matty James. Not sure what that was all about, but nonetheless, a free kick will go to WC. But WC's got to move quick. They got a minute 20 to go in the second half. Cats lead it 2 1. Goal scored by Carly Orr. And the other goal is going to be was scored by Haley Jaworski. If you can hear the student section get into it. One minute to go. Kathleen at 2-1, trying to put this thing to rest. This is Whitney Schaefer. Now she'll take it now towards the corner. Now she'll try to center it over to Maddie James. Ball just be kicked up in the air. 45 seconds to go.
Samurai James now has the ball. Now gets past two defenders. Nice move around. And that's what Granby's doing. They're doing a good job with ball control at this point. They've chewed off about probably a minute or two at this point with just take with that possession all the way down at the corner. You can rewind back and check. But nonetheless, we have 15 seconds left. Does WC have enough for one last push? And that's gonna just gonna kicked over to the right side. As you can hear the PA announcer with three seconds to go. And that's gonna do it. And the Bobcats are gonna defeat Warrington Christian. A big time win for Grandview Heights, especially at their first league game. And the Cats will go to 4-0 and 1-0 in the league. WC will down drop to 3-1 and 0-1 and 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 in the league. And the Cats will pick up the win 2-1. Meanwhile, we'll get check us out as the guys are Guys are up with about five minutes to go, one nothing. Don't forget to follow our, our pages to check out the results of that game. But nonetheless, um, check us out GHHS Broadcasting, and you can also follow me at John Cerniker. Also, don't forget to follow my broadcast partner at Ben McCall and our cameraman today, Mr. Murphy Horning. Murphy, would you like to give a plug? What's that? Would you like to give a plug to your social media? Um, at Murphy Sports on Twitter, if you want to find me there. There you have it, Murphy and Ben. They love to go back and forth social media, always hop in the action. But nonetheless, Bobcats get the win, 2-1 here. Goal scored by Carly Orr and another other goal scored by Hilly Jaworski. Um, and we'll, we'll hope to uh, give you an update. We might be back here Saturday, but me and Ben will be back Friday night. Congratulations, Grandview, and we'll see you guys later on. Have a good night, everyone.